Hey, good morning, Kelly. Oh, uh, hey, Shania. Are you alright? You seem down. It's Rick, isn't it? Yeah, I... I can't help but blame myself for what happened. Kelly, listen to me. Rick falling on a landmine and losing his leg is not your fault. If anything, it's Chris's fault for putting the landmine there in the first place. Now, come on. Let's go to the meeting area. <laughs> Morning campers, today's challenge is a treasure hunt. You're gonna be hunting for- uh, Hey Chris, sorry to interrupt, but did you arrange for a contestant to come back? No, I didn't. Why do you ask? Well, it looks like there's a boat coming. I think they're wearing a black suit and tie by the looks of it. Ah, uh, that's probably the lawyers. That whole incident with Rick has been a PR nightmare. Wait, Chris, I think I can see who it is. Oh no, that's not a lawyer. That's... Guess who's back? Oh no, it's Jack. Who was he again? Remember back when we were making the teams? I had to choose between him and Damien to be on Team Delta with me. I chose Damien, so Jack got eliminated. Jack, you were eliminated. That means you cannot come back unless I contact you and say you can. And I haven't, so what are you doing here? I'm here to take revenge on the little parasite who got me eliminated. All right, which one of you two is Garrison? Um, uh, me. That's me. I'm Garrison. <gasps> what? No. What are you doing? <laughs> See ya, suckers. <laughs> did did that really just happen? Or is this all just a bad dream? I don't think this is a dream, Lauren. We have to go save him. Alright, everyone. New challenge. First team to rescue Harrison wins. I'm sorry, what did you say? Harrison just got kidnapped, and you're trying to make a game out of it? Where's the harm in that? I mean, you're saving him either way. <sighs> fine. There's no point in even arguing with you anyway. Alright, where could Jack have gone? Well, I do know that those boats aren't very fuel efficient. With the amount of gas it can hold, Jack won't be able to make it farther than the big city. That's right, he wouldn't be able to land there because somebody would be sure to notice the unconscious body. Well then that means he's still on the island. He must be hiding somewhere. Well then it's agreed. We split up and search. Let's go. <laughs> Let me go. Why are you even doing this? When you eliminated me, you taught me to never trust anyone to make decisions for you. Now I about to no one. I do what I want. And you're regretting your decision now, huh? Actually, now that I've seen for myself just how much of a psycho you are, I'm glad you didn't stick around. Me? A psycho? No. A psycho would have killed you as soon as they got the chance. So what are you going to do with me? Well, as it stands right now, you're worth more to me alive than dead. I figured I'd keep you here and hold you for ransom. <laughs> Guys, are we sure they're even still on the island? Don't worry, Garrison, we'll find him. Hey, uh, I think I see a cave entrance over there. Hey, you're right, let's go check it out. Hey, wait a minute, I have a better idea. This is a full-on hostage situation we're dealing with. Why can't we just get the police involved? Well, when we auditioned for this, the rulebook said not to bring our phones, so where are we going to get one? Well, Chris probably still has his. You guys stay here and keep watch. I'll head back to camp and see if I can snag it. Ugh, this is bad. It's, it's all I can to just keep my composure. <sighs> Come on, everyone. We need to keep moving. Uh, hey, can't we slow down? I don't want to get too dirty. Ah, uh, that's it. I've been doing my best to remain calm, but I just need to say this. I have had enough of you, Amanda. Harrison's life could be in danger, and we will not rest until we know he is safe. So either pick up the pace, or we're leaving you behind. You know what? So be it. I don't need you anyway. That's fine by me. <sighs> Glad I finally got that off my chest. Okay, I am telling you for the millionth time, 
It was not my fault. Okay, yes, the landmines were technically my idea. Just do whatever you need to do to stop me from going to jail. I'm not going back. <sighs> okay, bye. <sighs> I need a drink. Hello, police? We have an emergency here. <laughs> yeah, well, Shania still isn't back yet. I'm going in. Alright then, I'll go with you. Aha! Let him go, Jack. Not one step closer! Or Garrison here gets it. Actually, I'm Garrison. That right there is my twin. Wait, what? <sighs> Whatever! At this point, that changes nothing! Shania went to call the police. As far as we know, they're on their way. Good. Then you can tell them that I'm demanding the million dollars for this kid's safe release. <laughs> Ow! What the? What was that? Uh, uh. Someone call for an exterminator? Oh, Shania, perfect timing. Wait, you didn't kill him, did you? Oh, no, it's just a tranquilizer. He'll wake up in a couple hours. But don't worry about that. Worry about helping Harrison. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks, Garrison. You know, I took that huge bullet for you. So I would say you owe me big time. But then again, you saved me, so we'll call it even. Hey, man, I'm just glad you're okay. <coughs> All right. Harrison is safe and Jack is behind bars. We won't be hearing from him for a long time. Now, let's celebrate an even more momentous occasion. Team Omega's first elimination. But seriously though, I've been on the phone with lawyer after lawyer all day, and I really want to go to bed, so let's hurry this along. Tonight's marshmallows go to... Brian, Kyle, and Lauren. Amanda, you're out. <sighs> hey, Amanda, I just wanted to say, while I stick by my claim that I don't necessarily think you're a good person, I want to apologize for snapping at you earlier. It was a stressful situation, and my anger got the best of me. I'm sorry. Hmm, I'll take it. Apology accepted. Alright, Brian, now get out of the way so I can do my outro. Who will get the axe next? Find out next time on another episode of Total Drama Lego. <laughs> Yo, what up guys, CrabRipple7 here. I know I don't usually talk at the end of these, but I just want to give a big thanks to DrewTube for voicing Jack in this episode. And Drew was actually my inspiration for this series. And also, this is the last video I am posting before I go back to school, so wish me luck. I am CrabRipple7, signing off.